Welcome back. Well, our next guest, our special guest today, I'm thrilled. Aaron Schwab has been like sweating all week. Was a part <laughs> of one of the longest running primetime dramas in TV history, starring as Dr. Melinda Warner. She appeared on 170 episodes <laughs> of NBC's Law and Order SVU, and is a, <laughs> and is in the Twin Cities performing at the glorious The Ordway. Give it up for the fabulous Tamara Tunia. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I can always tell, and I'm a fan of yours beside, other than that, but I can always tell the caliber of a guest by how excited the crew gets. And I said, <laughs> our, our family member, Aaron Schwab, all week long has been reminding us how fabulous you are. We go, I said, I know how fabulous she is. <laughs> well, yes, thank anyway, you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I, uh, <laughs> we're obviously going to talk about 42nd Street, but yes. why, when I said 170 episodes, you wiped your brow. Does it seem like 170 episodes? It seems like 570 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> In a good way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that show has been a major part of my career and a part of my life. So it's great. I'm proud of it. Is it what? Because of that show has such a, 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 a vibrant fan base. I mean, it's, I think, what is it? It's been on fifth. Oh no, we're it's going into 21, 21 seasons. Twenty-one seasons, yeah, it's yeah. Breaking the record. Yeah. It's breaking the record. Yeah, I think it did. It, it just broke Gunsmoke's record. Exactly. Gunsmoke was on twenty, and then that's yeah, correct. Yeah. That's I'm a correct. TV nerd. But I anyway, noticed that yeah, about I'm, you. Yeah, I am a TV nerd. <laughs> what is like the what? What's the number one thing people say to you when you're out on the street, like Law and Order fans? Do you? Have, is there a common thread that runs through what everyone says to you? Well, I mean, mostly they, they just say how much they love the show. Yeah. You know, they love the show. But I had a great experience, you know, playing the med medical examiner on the show. And I always say, you know, I'm not a doctor, but I play one on TV. <laughs> um, but I, I was on the subway in New York, you know, and I take the subway. Everybody's like, you take the subway. I take the subway every day. Yeah. And so I'm on the platform and this older couple approaches me and they say hello and they say they're fans of the show. And then they tell me that they both teach uh, forensics at Columbia University. Oh, no. Oh, no. And I was like, uh oh, <laughs> here it comes. Yeah. But basically, you know, they said, and you're making us look good. So that made me feel oh, really nice. good. Yeah, they were wonderful. They is, were wonderful. Is, is the lingo hard to learn? I mean, did, did he, how long did, how many seasons did it take you to get used to the lingo? Well, not, a, not long, actually. You know, and I always say this because I, I talk to young people a lot. And, you know, a lot of the biology that I'm talking about as Dr. Warner, I learned in ninth grade, yeah. you know, and I remember it, you know. So I'm always like, you know, study and, and do well in school <laughs> and make... Seriously, because just, you just, just never, in case know, you're a you never know when yeah, you might right. yeah. you might need to know where the femur is. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, but um, but, you know, I um, I had a medical dictionary. And of course, thanks to the Internet, you know, I could go online and research stuff. And um, also um, uh, the dictionary on on um, the Internet also has pronunciations. That's so nice. Isn't they it? They added that little pronunciation, you know, icon and I would tap that sucker Ooh. and I'd be like, <laughs> Okay, that's how you say that. So, that's right. Yeah. From one, from a TV institution to a musical institution, what is it like being in a property like 42nd Street? I mean, it's when you think of musicals, it's it's right up. Yeah, there. I mean, it's iconic. Yeah. It's iconic. It's it's a you know it's a legendary show. And uh, what I'm loving about our production is it's honoring the history of that legendary show, but it's bringing it into the present. Yeah. And it's bringing it to 2019. And you're going to see love, a little, yeah. How so? I love when shows do that. How, how is this one? Well, I, well first of all, uh, the, the look of the show, because the cast is very diverse and multi-ethnic, so already it's like, okay, we're in the present. And then, oh, yeah, there they are. Yeah, doing there their they thing, are. Doing their thing. There's the and, present. Yes, and right. also, you know, um, uh, our director, uh, Michael Heitzman, his take on the show is very much trying to bring it into 2019. And then there are the arrangements. And Everett Bailey, who has played with some of the major rock bands, Bruce Springsteen, Bon Jovi, he's done the orchestrations and arrangements. So there are sections where, you know, our brilliant choreographer, Jared Grimes, would say, you know, let's start from the James Brown section. And I'm like, <laughs> yes, the James Brown section, <laughs> you know. So it's, it's very funky, it's very funky, it's very hip. You know, it's going to make you want to tap your feet, clap your hands, get up and dance. I mean, it's really fabulous. For people, if they haven't seen the show, tell, you play Dorothy. What's, yes, what's I play, Dorothy, what's Dorothy I play like? Dorothy Brock, and Dorothy Brock is, um, she's a, a Broadway star who hasn't had a hit show in a long time. 
And so she's being plugged into this show and she's desperate to, to be successful. You know, she's of a certain age. And, you know, as women, we often get pushed to the side when we reach a certain age. Mm -hmm. So, you know, she's very desperate for the show to be a hit. The director of the show, his reputation is on the line. He's desperate for it to be a hit. Oh, excuse me. And, uh, and, uh, <laughs> and, and, you know, and our young, our young, um, our young uh, uh, Peggy Sawyer character, who's a wannabe star, you know, she's desperate to have a hit also. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. So, a hit. Yeah. H-I-T. That's right. That's right. So the stakes are high. The stakes yeah. are high. You know, so the energy's great. The costumes are gorgeous. Amelia Soso, brilliant costumes. I mean, it's eye candy. It's ear candy. It's something for the heart and soul. It's just going to be fabulous. You got to come. What? Fabulous. What do you like? Two different art forms. Two different art forms with TV. It's stop, reset lighting, stop, go to the trailer, yes. stop. What is it about the stage that just fills your heart? Well, you, you know, my background is theater yeah. from the beginning. And, um, and there's something about live performance that's just very uh, empowering, yeah. if you will. And also the connection with the audience. audience. Like even in this room, yeah. you know, you can feel the energy. It's a give and take situation. It's reciprocal. And with TV and film, you know, you're shooting out a sequence. You're kind of shooting in a box. There's no, you know, you don't know what the finished product is until you see it on television or on the big screen. And for actors, I feel like um, the theater is where we have the most control over our performance. And we also have the luxury of rehearsal. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. Which is fabulous. Because you're as delightful as we all wanted you to be. Uh, please tell me, Mariska is as delightful as I would like her to be. Mariska's lovely. Mariska's yeah. lovely. Absolutely. The whole cast is lovely. Yeah. The whole cast. We were such a great team. We had such a great time. But before we dig any deeper, I have to make a little correction. I know, yeah. Yes, yes. Our, our arranger is Everett Bradley, not Bailey. You know, I don't know. My brain is like, what time is it? It's, it's early. It's early. Yeah. We're show it's people. Early. It's show people. It's early. You know, we, we're nocturnal. No, but. exactly. No. <laughs> but yeah, you can tell. I, I don't think you can fake chemistry even. And you can tell. And that's a, probably a well-oiled... It better be a well machine by season After 21. 21, yes, yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Well, also, uh, like I said, uh, Schwabi is a fan. Our executive producer, Jeff, is having litters of kittens because he would, <laughs> he would stay home. He would act like he was sick. We're about the same age. When he was a kid, he's like, Mom, I'm sick. He, well, he had, as the world turns, itis. That's what he had. <laughs> what, thank you, thank you. What, what was that? What? what? That was great. I mean, I did that show for 15 years. You know, I did for oh eight my. years. I left for five. I came back for seven. And um, uh, again, it was a well-oiled machine and a family. Yeah. You know what I mean? When you work with people every day uh, and you spend the majority of your time with them, you really do become a family. And it's, it's really great. You know what I think, too? I, I, yeah, absolutely. So often I think people go, oh, soap opera stars. But I have so much respect for soap opera stars. And I don't think you guys, I don't think the art gets because... <laughs> You it's have the to, hardest. It's the hard, It's you, the most difficult. It and, really is. And kind of explain why in like a reader's digest. Well, it, it, it's the most difficult because you're getting a new script every day. You're yeah. getting a new script every day. The script is 70 pages. You know, you're shooting an hour, well, 47 minute show. And uh, even though the storylines kind of drag out, so you kind of know generally what's going on. Yeah. But it's a new script every day and you have to be really fast and really quick and be able to, you know, memorize and make choices and go with it and hit it and knock it out and get out by 7 o'clock so everybody can go home and be with their families. Yeah. You know, is... we ain't trying to be there all day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go home. Yeah, let's I want to go home. Let's get, let's get, exactly, let's get exactly. This. Out of all your projects, I, I think it's like picking a, a kid, but for whatever reason, maybe a friendship's come from it, a relationship, or just a joyful location. When I say to you, other than the ones we've talked about, What's been a favorite project? You've done so many things. What's been a favorite project of yours for whatever reason? Well, well, right now my favorite project is 42nd Street <laughs> at the Ord I, I knew you were going <laughs> to say that. <laughs> however, however, um, I have to admit, I, I did a series called The Red Road that was on Sundance TV. And you can see it on Netflix now or on iTunes. You can get it, whatever. And it was fabulous because it, was, um, it took place in uh, northern New Jersey and it involved a Native American community, and I was the matriarch of that community. And um, I have Native blood, and I never get a chance to play, you know, or to be my Native American self. So it was fantastic to really be able to do that, you know. And yeah, you know, and I just feel like in this particular, this particular um, nation of Native American people are comprised of ancestry that is African European 
and indigenous native people, you know, and that exists. And I think in the United States of America, so many of us are so many things. And the fact that we always have to choose one thing, I think is what continues to cause us to be separate as opposed to yep. us being together. Yeah. So that's a perfect way to end the interview. Do me a favor. You know these folks. I, we are watching them, right, audience, during rehearsals, and they are fantastic. Will you? We're going to toss it over. Will you introduce your colleagues, I please? I love my colleagues, my beautiful colleagues. I have Amanda Castro, Philip Atmore, and Adina Denai. Anaya. Anaya. Oh, my God. See, here we go. Anaya. It's early. <laughs> Denai. Yeah. Anaya Denai, who are, are three of our brilliant cast members. And they're going to do a little excerpt from In the Money, okay? And they're doing it in their street clothes, That's which is right. like crazy. And the costumes and sets for the show are fantastic. And you're just gonna get a little taste. A little bit. That's gonna blow your mind. And then you're gonna wanna see it. Production of 42nd Street starts on Tuesday and runs through August 11th. For tickets, head to ordway.org. And we have a special treat. Give it up. Here they go, everybody. Take it away. <laughs> <laughs>